Welcome to my channel. I am Titandel86. In this channel, we're gonna be doing lots of unboxings, reviews from animes, movies, design of the box, design of the figure, the options that come with it, the expressions, everything that's included in it. We will be covering everything. Statues, figures, cards, name it. And we'll probably have a video based on that. Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for joining me on this new adventure. Now, let's start the show. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Titan Del 86 and for today I'm bringing you Bulbasaur from Unique Art Studio. This is the last statue to finish my collection. If you guys remember um, from the other videos, I already have the Charmander and I already have the Squirtle. So now the only one I was missing was this Bulbasaur. So now my collection will be complete on the starter Pokemon. This is the brown box that is packaged in. As you can see here on the right hand side, I have number 316. And like I said in the last two videos, again, I'm not sure how many of these statues were made by Unique Art Studio. So if someone knows out there, just let me know. Looking inside, it's got Pokemon written on it. Then as you move towards the top of the box, it's got uh, a big giant Bulbasaur at the center. On the top left corner, it's got again the sign of Pokemon. Right hand side, it's got the unique art logo on it. Moving down on the bottom right, it's got Bulbasaur on it. Then on the left bottom corner, it's got the, the rest of the stuff with the little sticker and all that. Looking at this particular box, it does appear to be bigger than the Charmander in the Squirtle box. Looking at the side of the box, it's got a, a giant Pokeball on it. Now let's open it. So now let's open it and remove the yellow Velcro straps. Upon opening the box, you can see that it comes with a giant base to hold the Bulbasaur. Then it's got the Bulbasaur uh, sitting on its back from what I could tell here. And then it comes with the Pokemon coin as well. Once I took everything out of the packaging and without the boxes, this is basically what you end up getting. You have the Bulbasaur statue, a couple leaves, some vines. Then you have the vines that go to Bulbasaur's vine whip. Then you have the buff that sits on Bulbasaur's back. And then you have the big massive statue from where Bulbasaur is going to sit on. Between the Bulbasaur, the Charmander, and the Squirtle statues from Unique Arts, this Bulbasaur statue has the most loose pieces. I think the second one was the Charmander followed by the Squirtle one. Looking here, these are the instructions that came with it. This is the picture of what the Bulbasaur statue is going to look like. And once it's assembled and here are the quick instructions for it so it does have several steps but we'll get it done here here's a 360 of the Bulbasaur golden coin that comes with the statue looking at the back side it's got the Pokemon logo on it and from the text as you can see this is number 316 Then looking at the front, it's got a picture of Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur are extremely tough and very difficult to capture in the wild. Here's the 360 of the Bulbasaur statue from Unique Art. Putting it together wasn't too difficult. It was very easy. I give it a 1 out of 10 out of the difficulty um, scale. Bulbasaur is held into the base by a magnet and the bulb on his back is held into Bulbasaur by another magnet. 
So two magnets were used in the assembly of, of this statue. The only part that you kind of had to think about was when you were putting the two uh, leaves that you're about to see here in the rear. Other than that, it was pretty simple once you get that sorted out. But uh, this is a really nice looking statue here. And this statue, Bob also looks really happy. He's got his two vines out. And the background looks like he's sitting in a forest or maybe a jungle. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Also in the comments, uh, let me know what you think about this uh, fantastic statue. Overall, looking at the Bulbasaur design, um, most of the design aspects went into the background. Looking at the background, it reminds me of the Pokemon movie where all the Bulbasaurs were coming out of the forest. So I think that's probably one of the scenes that might inspire the background and layout of the statue. But overall, it looks um, it's pretty solid. It does have the small pieces on it, like the leaves in the back that were attached. So you have to be careful because they do, they do wobble a little bit. But overall, the statue is pretty solid. Not as solid as the Squirtle statue, but way more than the Charmander one. I believe this one's probably the tallest one and probably the biggest one out of the three. The Bulbasaur design is very simple, so there isn't really much uh, there. The true artistic skills here came into the shading in, of the tree and the rocks and all that. As you see here, it's really good.
Here are some of the Bulbasaur Pokemon cards that I've collected over the years. I now have all three of the OG starter Pokemon from the original set. Um, they're all really fantastic figures. I think Unique Art overall did a really good job uh, presenting this trio set. Uh, the Pokemon Gold Coins that come with it are a fantastic addition piece to this collection. They do have the Charizard and the Mewtwo out there. Uh, I know I said it before, I'm still holding on whether I'm going to get it or not. I'm waiting to see if they're going to come back with a Venusaur or a Blastoise and then that will determine if I do go for the Charizard. But overall this is a pretty good fantastic collection. Um, if you guys recall in another video I did have the three Pokemon skateboards to complement this special collection here. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about these three fantastic starter Pokemon. Which one do you like better over the others? For me the background effect and overall the winner here to me would be the Bulbasaur one. It's got more uh, more features added, it's got more details on it. The fun factor does come with the Charmander statue as you see here with the flame effects. For the Squirtle, once you really get it in the right light effect, the clear plastics of the water effects do somewhat tend to glow. Kind of giving it that hidden mystery. So overall there are really good statues here. This is all I have for you guys today. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as we'll have many more videos. Thank you and bye.